issue 
where players could spawn under the map after winning their gulag. That stinks. Fixed a bug where players could use players using Charlie's tactical human skin or Mara's Valkyrie skin would notice their character's model missing from the Exfil epilogue in the helicopter. Okay. So I guess you just like were not appearing in the extraction. That's funny. The audio for the supply choppers is too loud, preventing players from hearing most that most other sounds and communicating with their squad. This has been adjusted. Thank God. The game in general uh, as a whole is very, very loud. Fixed for the final circle being too close um, over areas that players cannot access, such as the middle of stadium. Okay, cool. So no more <laughs> middle of stadium circles. The after action report now shows cash earned and placement. Good, good, good. Now allow up to three precision airstrikes to be called in at once, but within a distance restriction. Okay, that's a good, that's a good patch for sure. On to some of the weapon fixes. The M4 will perform an AR magazine reload when attempting to reload the underbarrel launcher while you have the 50 round mag attachment equipped. This has been fixed, so I've never used any of the underbarrel launchers, but uh, I'm sure that could be uh, good news for some of you guys. Stopping power is now applied to headshots. Only certain weapons can go from a two shot to a one shot headshot, like the FAL and Odin. This fixes a few cases where headshots could sometimes do less damage than body shots when using stopping power. Nice. So, little adjustment to stopping power. Start ammo and max ammo adjustments. Increased max ammo for the M4458 SOCOM rounds. Never used those before. I think it's more like a uh, like an SMG. I think it ups the fire rate of the M4. Increased max ammo and start ammo for the CR-56 AMAX M67 rounds, the SKS-10 round mag, the Striker-45 hollow point rounds, the SCAR default mag, Odin default mag. Increased start ammo for the SCAR-25 round mags and the Odin 25 round mags. The AX-50 got a buff. It's uh, increased damage range much all sniper rifles as a whole uh, got above HDR granted one hit to lower torso at any range. Car 98K increased ADS speed. The small decrease to hip spread and increased damage range. So the Car 98 is going to hit a lot harder now. I was using it uh, and uh, it feels good. It feels really good. You can really scope in really fast. And the, uh, the hip spread Something tells me that this is going to be the new quick scoping weapon of choice. Uh, the MK2 carbine, faster movement speed, increased damage range. The Dragonov got an increase to ADS speed, but I still think this is going to be a terrible. That's no one's ever going to use the Dragonov. Uh, do it, kill minimum. That's not for Warzone. That's definitely for <laughs> online play. I think it's going to take much more than two hits to kill somebody in Warzone with the Dragonov. Gun recoil returns to the center more. That's good, so a little bit of a recoil buff and a faster rate of fire. So uh, the FAL added a close range damage shelf with one shot hit headshot potential. Nice. Increased ADS speed on the AK-47. That's good. Decreased damage range on the CR-56 AMAX. The MP5 got absolutely castrated. MP5 decreased damage range, decreased 10 millimeter damage range, reduced long range damage to 10 millimeter ammo, and a slight recoil increase to 10 millimeter ammo. The Growl 56, or excuse me, the Growl 556 also got castrated uh, as the damage range reduction, slight increase to high frequency recoil and reduced recoil compensation and decreased range on the Tempest 26.4 Archangel and the FSS 20.8 Nexus barrels, which I believe the Tempest, the Archangel barrel was the like meta barrel, shotgun slugs, increased projectile velocity, uh, reduced ADS spread, 
added dynamic imp spread, increased damage ranges, and increased lower torso damage, so a big shotgun buff, which was very much needed, especially with those slugs. The slugs were so, 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 so weak. The no stock attachment uh, got increased weapon recoil and decreased ADS, ADS aiming steadiness. So uh, the no stock attachment, which was pretty meta, uh, got kind of uh, really reduced. Okay, so I know in the intro I said that I used the kilo in this gameplay. However, <laughs> I was incorrect. I do grab the kilo at the end as my second class, but for my first class, I actually rocked this car 98 class, as you guys saw in the batch note for car 98 got a huge buff huge huge buff so i wanted to show you guys my car 98 class that i use as you can see i have the monolithic suppressor the sin guard custom 27.6 barrel the tac laser the variable zoom scope and the stippled grip tape and here is my updated kilo class the kilo class i showed in my last video had the whisper barrel and the tac laser sight on it. I just took the laser sight off and put the Prowler barrel on with the monolithic suppressor instead. And then of course the commander foregrip, the 60 round mag, and the candid hybrid sight. Really love this candid hybrid sight. A lot of fun to use. A lot of fun to use. So if you want to copy that class, either of those classes, go on ahead and do that. Okay, so here we are. said i can't even remember what character i was i think i'm uh I, I don't know anything about the operators but uh i i don't change them very often i think i have like a i usually if i am using an operator and i'm doing well with them then i keep them and uh if i'm having a bad day and uh start sucking then i change them but looks like we have marked one of those new supply runs be doing some controller sounds in the background. Uh, I don't think we land on that supply run. I, I kept wanting to, to mark different supply runs, but uh, we went ahead and just did the traditional scavenger contract in East Promenade. So I actually land on, I think, yep, yeah, there's a legendary crate here that I go ahead and snag, and this BKM, the slot Man, was it good. Watch this thing absolutely melt this guy. Oh, man. <laughs> I thought he was going to take fall damage, but uh, he <laughs> just took it like a champ. Get a little armor crate. I mean, ammo crate. Excuse me. Ammo, ammo, ammo crate. And here's his little teammate. Yep, melted. Look how crazy this thing is. Maybe I should turn on a BKM class. That thing melts, absolutely destroys people. So we're going to head up this little stairwell, and I heard someone in the stairwell actually uh, got a little, little, little hesitant and was able to melt him, and he actually quits, quits out because I did not get credit uh, for the thirst, but uh, I still got credit for the so I'm guessing he just quit the game. Shame, shame on him. But he's big mad. That's what that's what I do. I make people quit. <laughs> just doing some basic looting here, trying to find another weapon. Because while while this BKM did melt right there, it's definitely not my preference to go with LMGs. But I may actually have to give a custom BKM class a try, especially if I can level it up enough. Maybe I just buy that BKM and kind of adjust, make some adjustments. That dude was staring right at me. I thought I was going to get lit up right there, but go ahead and grab this burst fire M4. I can't believe that thing is still in the loot pool, but I was trying to get some shots on that guy before he went up on top of the roof. This guy was such a pest. Just wait until you see how uh, we deal with this man. But and he's going down. We we decided that we were going to push, uh, be a little bit more aggressive in this gameplay. Um, I 
as I see him slowly step up the stairs there, I, uh, I decided to grab this proximity mod and throw it in front of the SUV in case someone had any bright ideas of trying to get out of there. We had this man trapped upstairs, and uh, that's when my partner gets pushed, and I knew what was about to happen. They were going to come around that corner, and that's when I had the BKM ready and uh, shredded both of those guys, but that was another team. There's still the guy on the roof, which I was a little scared of because I, I, I knew he had time to reposition during that little engagement. So here I am just kind of trying to, trying to get some ears, trying to open up my ears, kind of not talk so much in game and uh, try and figure out what where this man went, and oh my goodness, there he is. <laughs> He's still up there. That's when I get a little bit PO'd, and uh, this guy's just, we got this man trapped like a rat. But still, slow playing, because he's got eyes on both ladders. Actually, I didn't even know that there was two ladders. I thought there was only one ladder, and I was waiting for him to make another peek, so that I could Honestly, I didn't really know much about this building layout. Look at this, look at this guy. He just is eating bullets. Um, I think this is when somebody else started shooting and I realized there was a second way up. I didn't even know this way up existed. And I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm coming up on his backside and look at that, Claymore. <laughs> run, 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 oh my goodness. Look at my health, holy cow. I had no idea my health was that bad off. I had no plates. My partner drops me a couple of plates right here. I did not like this positioning at all. I felt like people could see me. But uh, I was able to snag some plates. And that's when the guy above us uh, starts getting shot at. And I figured now was a good time to get up here and absolutely <laughs> destroy him. Oh my god, it was that a boot. What was that? bird with somebody parachuting in, but look at me, I'm, I'm ranking up this BKM, I'm telling you, I might have to use it for real, but uh, go ahead and drop that burst M4, that terrible, terrible burst M4, we got five kills very early, very early on, somebody, we knew somebody was in that building, or at least we thought, because, uh, oh, yep, yeah, no, there, there really was, and he got thirsted, well, well, excuse me, he got knocked. Like we discussed before this game started, we were going to be pushing everything. He got actually revived, but not before I got up there and was able to get it down. And then again, I got pushed real hard by his teammate, but luckily my teammate was there to clean it up. So just like that, wow, I have six kills with legendary LMGs. I think that I think that's what just popped up. And there it is, there's the new spotter scope. I had no idea it was even added. My teammate was like, let me use it. So I abided, and uh, I wanted, I was just checking it out here. Look, at that's how it works. You can actually toggle a thermal as well. I don't know why I dropped the, uh, I think I dropped, dropped the BKM here. In, uh, <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe not, no, I, I, I stuck it out. Okay, good, 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 good. <laughs> Look at this. Just trying to snipe helicopters with a BKM from across the map. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, we go ahead and relocate inside this circle. Go ahead and loot up here. Grab an Uzi.
years where I was debating whether or not we should go for that recon, but we were out of time. So I figure, let's go ahead and snag this bounty right here, and that's when we find these guys. So uh, I, I think I think I enjoy picking up these bounty contracts, especially in scenarios like this where you know we have six kills, we got our loadouts, or we have a loadout. Uh, I don't have both of my guns yet, but I I'm, I'm going to by the end of this game. Trust me. Uh, now that I'm thinking back, though, I don't know how much I actually did use that kilo. So uh, don't fry me in the comments if it's not even that much. Still, that that kilo is definitely worth showcasing. sale. Nice. This was, uh, this was actually a really good opportunity. Also, uh, something happens here shortly, and I think it's a glitch, but as, oh my gosh, of course. That's how it goes. He closes that door. There's uh, two people in that building, and oddly enough, something happens here in a second, and I need your explanation. <laughs> I just realized that uh, <laughs> our bounty contract is a guy with a clan tag of YT, so he definitely got murked by a real YT in collected play. <laughs> but look at this fire sale, look at all this stuff that we buy. UAV, 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 I love fire sales. Go ahead and get that free self revive, go ahead and buy some armor. Precision strike. Uh, and I was like, okay, see, yeah, see, look, the red dot is there, but I don't know what happens here, but somehow, some way, um, go ahead and buy a cluster strike. I had like literally seconds before that cluster strike ran out. Um, look at, see, there's that red dot. It's there, and then it's not. We still have a UAV. We still have the advanced UAV out. And that that dot was gone. It's not on the radar. I'm like, where did that guy go? It's literally not there. What is this? That guy is in that blue building. He's in this building. We have an advanced UAV. I guess if you're not moving, the advanced UAV doesn't pick you up or what. Here I am thinking I'm completely safe. Uh, I pick up this most wanted, thinking there's no one even close to being around me, and I was wrong. I hear somebody in this building, I'm like, what, what was that? And that's when I just absolutely shred this guy, with the Uzi, of course. Look at that, ranked up to level 14. <laughs> uh, and now I'm paranoid, now I'm like, uh, it, maybe that's not the only guy here, maybe his teammate's here too. So I'm like slowly checking this building, uh, even though we have an advanced UAV, or had it an advanced UAV at the time, and whatever, I guess, I guess it was a glitch of some sorts. It's an armor box, but I already have eight, 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 eight armor plates. And, uh, yeah, so, now we're, now, now I'm just paranoid. Somebody let me know in the section down below if that is a glitch of some sorts. But uh, I'm still most wanted for another two minutes. Two, two, two minutes. And I decided it would be best if we just hold up in this building in front of me. And now we're being tracked. <laughs> Somebody could win a lot of money. A lot of money if they took me out. It's not that easy. It's not that easy. Look how much cash we already have, too, on top of all this most wanted stuff. And we, we bought so much stuff at that fire sale. It's crazy, crazy. And uh, I'm kind of like out here begging for someone to push because we were going for those high kills, that high kill gameplay that I know you guys like. So I'm just standing up here out in the open like, hey, somebody, somebody please. Push. I want someone to push. Me and my teammate were 
position or my cluster strike. Let me go back down here and grab it real fast. Or, sorry, no, it was precision. Uh, I'm all tongue twisted at this point. My teammate calls a cluster on that pesky, pesky guy that was in that building. Uh, doesn't get any kills though. And now I'm just storm holding, waiting for him to push. And I was going to kill him as he crossed the road. He hit us with a rotation around the other side because he never comes this way. And this is where I start getting shot at by somebody in that direction. He's in that little barn window. And there's also shots coming from up here. I thought for sure we were dead. Thought for sure. Thought for sure. He even pulled out my precision airstrike to kind of get us a little bit of added cover. Maybe, maybe get us an opening. Steps beside me, but I think I was just being paranoid. Eight people remaining, five teams. This guy up here, actually, um, I know there's still a team in that little barn, but <laughs> check this guy out over here at this buy station. I knew there were some people over there. I heard gunshots. My teammate is over there at the loadout. Not really sure what he's doing, but. Uh, yeah, here, here he goes. He gets the buy off. He respawns somebody. But I was able to kill him, so... Eight kills now. <laughs> he kept his team alive. Watch, he, he comes in out of nowhere over there. I, I presume he landed on his dead body. Um, he had some shots on my teammate, but I was able to get in a decent position and break his armor. I don't know how this... C4 didn't kill him, but look at that. Team wipe. Boom. Nine kills. And here's where I get a little dangerous. I have my, my precision airstrike, but I didn't call it in. I didn't call it in. He said he was by the truck. I called it in on that guy. Uh, he was able to use his self-revive and get out of there. I missed these shots. I was able to get a couple of pings on him, though. Last guy, last guy here. He clusters me, clusters me, and I still have to push out. Look at this guy, he's stuck, he's stuck. I broke his armor, and my teammate was able, able to get the headshot on him. I think he, I think he just literally just one-tapped him in the head, probably with a sniper rifle, but GG's to everyone in memoriam. But this one belonged to good ol' collect and play. As you can see, we get x filled We <laughs> get saved from the storm. CNB, collect and play with the dub. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Let me know what you guys think of this new update if you agree disagree with some of the stuff that they did. I think my number one the number one bad thing I have to say about this update is the uh, gulag weapons. Not a fan. Not a fan. Everything else. Big fan I think for the most part. Uh, the growl definitely needed to be nerfed. The MP5 got nerfed. So the meta is definitely up for grabs. We'll see what happens going forward but that kilo in my opinion is a really nice uh, option. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. So, if you're watching this during the day, then have a relaxing rest of the day. If you're watching this at night, then have a great night's sleep. And good night.